Yeah, you gotta turn the gun off. You don't throw hard enough! Boo! What's up, guys? Welcome back. It's vlog. I mean, are they vlogs? Yeah, I guess they're vlogs. It's vlog number four. It's vlog number four. Um, got some really exciting stuff for you uh, on this one. I know a lot of the video is gonna be from home, and right now I'm on the road, but don't, don't get all confused. We're gonna start doing these things a little bit more disjointed, grabbing stuff from all kinds of different uh, uh, areas through the year and then kind of putting them together into cohesive videos and not necessarily all in one day like we have it in the first couple. Uh, I think that's gonna be a little bit more of a, an enjoyable experience for you guys and a little bit easier for me to do. I think that the easier it is, the more videos I can put out and um, the more fun we'll have. So before we move, before we get into the video, you may have noticed this awesome, um, it's backwards right now, I guess, or maybe not for you. But um, this is uh, a hoodie I partnered up with a company called Bad Cliff. Uh, we are doing a limited drop of this Punch and Tickets hoodie. Uh, it's a little tie-dye, a little blue, it's got the orange strings, got my, got my colors. I gotta be honest, this is the most comfortable hoodie I've ever worn. It's gonna go up to, I believe, 3XL. Um, I will correct that in the comments if that's wrong. Uh, but the link will be down. There's only gonna be 100 of them available um, at this point. I'm gonna try to release this video on the day they're released so that you guys have the best opportunity to grab them. But go grab your punch and tickets, hoodie. Let's get in the video. We got all kinds of awesome stuff today. We got mic'd up Pete Alonzo. I got a new mic, a lapel mic. Uh, fixed the audio a little bit from the last time we tried it and uh, we followed Pete around during, uh, uh, during his pregame work stretching, throwing, taking round balls, and hitting BP. And he gave us some really cool insight into a lot of that stuff um, and how what he's trying to accomplish when he does that, which is awesome. Um, we got Joey Lucchese making an appearance. We got uh, Tomas Nito and others. Uh, a lot of fun stuff coming in today's episode. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed right now, so you never miss one of these videos in the future. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Enjoy the video. And I for almost forgot to introduce you guys to the player of the game, championship belt. These are legit, the exact same belts that they use in the WWE. And we got the uh, the old Mets logo on the side. Pitcher of the game, uh, hitter of the game, me and KP got them. And if you have the belt at the end of a transition from a road trip to a homestand, you gotta take it on the plane with you. So I am the current belt holder. Cannot wait to give this to somebody else tonight after a W in, in Washington. Okay, well, I have a bone to pick with Chick-fil-A. I don't know why they say my pleasure. Is it their pleasure? It's not, because they're, pa they're, they're paid to say that. Why can't they just say, you're welcome? I don't know. Gary, do you want a one hop or in the air? Okay. Got a got a chiquita. Chiquitica. Got a chiquitica. Dang. Ah. Terrible, terrible trend. Ah. There it is. Yeah, so the other night, because we playing the shift, I'm basically playing second base. Right now, we're gonna work on simulating these dive plays. Ah. Ah. Surprise me! Are we banging now? All right, I guess we're banging. I'm gonna, I'll be right out. I gotta get my bat. Josh, stop distracting him. He's working. Do you want to say something? Hello. You know what you need? You need to have the uh, you need to have the belt the with rig. like the with the thing that carries it all smooth. Yeah. That's what's gimbal. Gimbal the, rig. I just learned something. It's called the gimbal rig, and they're expensive as all hell. They're like 15 G's. Yeah, I don't. For people that don't know, I'm doing my point of contact drill which helps me stay loose, balanced, and have total control of my body while I swim. 
but I'm really good at it. Hey, that's a push for a run right there, Jazz. Do you need any, you need any more? All right. That's not what I want. Not matching the angle of the ball. Did on the first one. Not on the last three. Hey, Keith. Not on that one either. Did on that a little bit better. Oh, there it is. Half swing. Double. So first round of BP, he's working on uh, staying short and direct to the baseball using the big part of the field. He wants to match the plane of the baseball perfectly. So the first round of BP, guys usually work on a, on a specific routine or drill to help them get them locked in and their body synced up. Same so, with you, right? Just getting the barrel in the right place? Yes. Okay. Getting the barrel in the right place consistently. Okay. Having total control, being free, loose and direct, which equ which equates to power and hits. We all have similar components to our swing, but our minds and certain swing mechanics and certain motor skills work a different way. I don't know if I can explain that in video game terms. All right, apple, apple balls. Ah. So on the iPad, you get to watch your swing after the round. So it's delayed about 45, maybe 45 seconds to a minute. So you can actually, like if you feel that you need to make an adjustment, you can watch like your swings and, what you're and yeah, and be able to make that correction or rem keep that feeling going. Like for KP right now, he's, yeah. he's juicing. Yeah. Looking sexy, feeling sexy. Oh, that one. Yeah, I like that one. I'm, I, I want to end on that one. We're here in uh, Washington. Um, we're about to start a stretch of, I believe it's three straight series with four games in three days with a doubleheader in each one, um, all from rainouts and COVID, COVID losses early in the year against the Nationals, the Phillies, and the uh, Braves, all in, in uh, division, division opponents. Um, big, important games, important uh, uh, series to go out and um, grind out wins and, and win the games you're supposed to win. Um, so, but that said, phenomenal series we just had it against Chicago, One, taking three out of four. Um, you saw on block three, taking two out of three from San Diego at home. Uh, those are two great teams, probably playoff teams, uh, that we won the series against, and that it's all about winning series. It's not about sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. It's about winning series, grinding out things, uh, being smart, making sure everyone stays healthy, and 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 so we have all of our all of our troops day in and day out. Um, but I say we should check out some pretty awesome highlights from the last four days against the Chicago Cubs with a lot of really great, um, really great highlights with a lot of guys. KP coming in big. Uh, um, um, Taiwan's a huge start. Stro giving us a strong start yesterday. Uh, um, you know, Jake having to come out with a little bit of arm soreness after punching eight and in three innings, and then and then the rest of the bullpen kind of picking him up and getting the job done that day and getting the W. A lot of great stuff happens, and uh, let's relive it a little bit. Second, Contreras at first with two out. Walker with a door to get through the inning. A one-two pitch. Swung out and missed strike three. Got him with a fastball. Side retired. Curveball wide toward the middle. Base hit for Alonzo. That'll tie up the game. Lindor and Smith come in to score. And Alonzo with a two-out, two-run single, and the Mets get even two to two. This is not an overswing here through the Chicago batting order. And he slaps another one to the left side. VR with a great extension and the throw on target. Gorgeous play by Jonathan VR to Rob Peterson of a base hit. Good range to the left and the difficulty in this play is not the catch. It's the throw on the run. I mean off balance not able to square and take a on the run and that is just a very fine play. He's going to be waved home. The relay threat of the plate by the Orme. The slide. He is out of the plate. Harris, the third base coach, giving Marisnik the green light. And that throw had him by a couple of uh, steps at the plate. And that's it. That's vlog number four. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, 
awesome mic'd up with Pete. That was so much fun. I think that's something we're gonna do in the future. There's a bunch of other guys who have, who have uh, talked about possibly being mic'd up for a day or just for an hour or, or like, you know, do a podcast. I don't know. We're, 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 we're all kind of brainstorming together. It's pretty cool the guys that are, that are interested in, in how this whole thing's working. Uh, but, uh, you know, let me know what you guys thought. I hope you enjoyed uh, the, sh the, the video today. And don't forget, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you liked, disliked. Let me know other stuff that you want to see because you know we got we got we got half in for a bit um, with the video, and now uh, of, by popular demand, and we get we're getting Nito in more. So um, if there's stuff you like or guys you want to see, I'll do my best. There's certain guys that, that don't want a lot to do with it. That's fine, and I'll try to be I'll try to communicate that as best as possible. But moving forward, I'm trying to give you guys as much fun stuff to watch as possible, and we got a lot of fun stuff happening here in, on in the uh, in the Mets locker room. So. Let's go Mets. See you next time. Hey Joey, thanks for joining us. Uh, a lot of talk about the Churv chant lately and uh, what that means. So we thought we'd ask the source, what is the story behind the Churv? Man, the story of the Churv is I just started throwing a natural change in a, like early college days. And then I started uh, just throwing it like a curveball-ish type pitch and then um, it evolved into something else not a change up at all and kind of just developed into a churv I didn't end up naming it the churv until my first year of minor, my minor league career and that's when the name came about but um, basically my my dream of the churv is to have the whole stadium when the count hits O2 just to yell chirp, 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 and me striking that guy out with a chirp. So I'm really like grateful and happy that my teammates like the chant and just everything about the chirp. And yeah, that's basically the background of the chirp, and I love throwing it. So when good stuff happens here at City Field, we want everyone throwing up the chirp. Absolutely, that that'd be really cool. Um, I've already seen some fans like buy into it when we throw it up after scoring some runs. So that's really cool to see. Awesome, man. Thanks for your time. Thank you.